What's going on everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today, let's talk about the bongos again. I don't know what it is, man, but I really love that intro. I don't know, I don't know. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that, but uh, you know, for the new people here, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, ahí está el botón, the button, the button. And for all my day ones, y'all already know, I have so much love for you guys, man. I really appreciate all your continued support. And just, just, just all the love, man. It's, it's on them vibes. I love it. So I just wanted to go over another simple combination on the bongos. And um, again, I have this on a stand. I uh, really don't think you guys want the camera pointing down there the whole time. Uh, this combination is very simple, but where you could place it, is where I think uh, kind of adds a little bit more spice in the middle of your martillos, okay? So, again, very, 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 very simple, very simple combination, okay? So to start the combination, you're basically gonna start it on the hembra. It's gonna be five open tones. And you're gonna start it with your right hand, then your left, then your right, then your left, then your right. So. For this one, I like to use my palms, um, kind of like what you would do on the conga. You can use a little bit more finger if you want to go down a little bit more. So, but just in my preference, I just like to use more palm action on this part. Just gives it more strength. So after those five opens here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a finger open with your left hand on the macho. You could do it with three fingers, two fingers, or one, whatever floats your boat. Whichever one. And then I'm gonna do a slap on the macho with my right hand. So to put that combination together, it's this. Yeah. Um, this combination is kind of nice because uh, it's basically seven notes, but the amount of time that you need to place it in a martillo is what kind of adds that spice. So how would you place it in just a basic martillo? What you're gonna do is your trigger is going to be the open on your hembra. So for example, That open right there is going to become the first open of the five stroke roll, you could say, on your amba. So. You can really go anywhere with uh, this combination. It adds a, I guess the placement of it kind of can throw it off and add a little bit of a different element, you could say. Even though with its simplicity, um, there's a lot of things going on here. So you're really adding a lot more, you could say, presence on the embra with those five opens so you want to make sure that those five opens really project you know so and it's for that same reason why i like to use the palms so it's like 
that's kind of letting it be known like oh this is something's about to go down you know and a very important part about that combination and it may seem so little so petty like it doesn't even matter but that finger open man that finger open if you want to hear it coming out of this this is what you're going to get that is so important to be projected and and, and noticed because when you enter and present the slap it's it's kind of like in the last bongo combination because the combination between the left hand and the slap kind of combine to make a specific sound together. It's kind of like the slap chokes the open tone from being projected and it does like a nice little pop. I don't know if you hear it, so look. You may not notice it, but it's really causing a sound on its own. Like it's its own unique sound that that happens between the combination of two sounds. So it's like, that's what it is. But when you put it together, trying to tell you man it's like those little simple moves and little combinations that you could do out of something just so basic all right y'all this was just a little quick uh bongo combo video you know y'all already know what to do like subscribe see you guys on thursday